Materials, Resistor, Diodolate, Protoboard, Photocell, Potentiometer, Source, Tools, Pliers, Scissors, Screw Drives, Coating, Team, Breadboard. In this part, I'm going to explain the procedure of the assembly of the two circuits with the transistor. The first circuit is going to be a darkness detector and the second circuit is going to be a voltage indicator. We will use a bipolar MPN to N3904 transistor. We will polarize into negative in its emitter pin. In the collector we will connect two LEDs diodes with a series connection. Until we reach the positive throw a resistor that will place at the end. We are going to constantly deactivate the transmitter by its base using a photocell connected to the negative Remember that the transistor is already activated by positive signal. We'll be able to send a positive signal to the transistor through a potentiometer and a resistor. Here we use the blue main composition light and the line red as a positive from the LED. We connect it to resistor and the potentiometer is series until we research the base of the transistor from the middle pin of the potentiometer. The reason for using a fixed resistor is to send no positive signal when the tension Geometer plan is a series, causing a stable voltage division. Now we do connect to the resistor to the pin from this line. I, I made this connection for combines. We will find server from 6 volts to the photocells. We resize light will keep to the transition of but we lens light is obstructor is valued is to lies allowing the positive signal for the resistor to pass to the resistor activating the LEDs. The potentiometer doesn't allow you pass a more positive signal on balance pain voltage division and so activating the transition more something that is how to change sens sensitive of the sensor. And so, and so get a very simple darkness detector with LED and simple transistor. We polarize the negative of this transistor using a red LED. Between collector and emitter we connect a green LED. The anode we connected to the collector and the cathode to the emitter, this will go to the test saturation of the same transistor. We will switch to the LED with a resistance towards positive from the collector spin of transistor. In the base of the transistor, we will connect a potentiometer as a voltage divider one. We will go to negative and for the positive, we will use two resistors connected in parallel because we need a single fixed value that they are not commercial. This will serve to maintain a fixed value at the time of voltage division when the potential methods reserve a zero value. This circuit is for, for the detect amount of voltage with which the FED and is reflected and in the LED. The potentiometer will serve us to adjust the voltage detection when it is lower if the two LEDs light. Update indicate that it is a low voltage limit. And if the red light is only activated, it will indicate that they are at a very low voltage level, which may is a very simple voltage method to experiment with just one transistor. It's zeros and ones bit and the transistor the open the current cannon flow bit zero and each close the current flow. For this project we we'll need a usable voltage sourcer and 5 6 7 voltage. Then we enter transistor we add the photodiode the connecting with resistor 
and the give values the one in zero, the dark things and the transistor bolts used in the close the circuit. In the in the case closing in the circuit, we do photodiode uh, washing away the so when the five transistor one one and zero. In the closed case, the circuit will at this convert the photodiode the lights go turn on for the separate wind light the zero inside the nature vocabulary transistor transmitter voltage glow collector signal sensor anode cathode led